Hello, and welcome back to Tech by Pike. Today, we're checking out another mouse. This one is from SteelSeries. It is an AROX 9 wireless mouse. It is ultra lightweight. It's for your MOBA and MMO gamers. So, let's get into it. The SteelSeries AROX 9 wireless, ultra lightweight. Has 150 battery life on it. Has 18 programmable buttons. You know, I'm only seeing 12 on the side. I'm assuming they're including the top ones up here. But let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. RGB lights. Can't complain there. Exact same plasticky feel that you get with all the lightweight honeycomb mice. It's a little bit bigger. A nice cord. They have those like cloth covered cords. I really like these cords. You know, when you're not using it for your mouse, steal it. Use it for your cell phone. Big win there. Got your different dongles. Interesting. So in order to use the wireless aspect of it, plug this bad boy in. But you can't plug this into your computer unless you use this cord. And then you plug that into your computer. Well, I guess you, guess, guess you can't steal it for, uh, for your phone. The cord's always going to be in use. Unless your computer has uh, that plug in. You're out of luck. Not bad though. No place to hide the uh, the dongle in the mouse. No hidden compartment. Trying, trying to keep it as lightweight as possible. The buttons actually feel kind of stiff. Hard to push. Interesting. Well, lucky me, my laptop has the Type-C plug-in, so I didn't have to use the cord. So let's go ahead and turn this mouse on. Pretty cool. Color changing RGB, cycling through the rainbow. I'm here for it. I like it. I feel like if you're going to put out a mouse that has honeycomb, you better put RGB lights on it because you need, you know, why not advertise or show off? It's definitely a bigger mouse. It fits pretty good in my hand. I like it a lot so far, just the feel of it, how it sits. The buttons are crazy. If you're a big World of Warcraft or League of Legends, you know, MOBA player, MMO player, these buttons might come in handy for you if you want to avoid using the keyboard and you want to hit those fast, fast abilities right off your thumb. You know, it might be for you. It's crazy how many there are right here and just how close they are. I'm sure over use you would get used to uh, get used to hitting them, but it's a lot of buttons right there. Pretty cool design. They have the little Steel Series emblem right up here. Alright, 
let's get into a game. You know, I'm not a huge MOBA or MMO person, but we'll still try out the mouse, see how it feels. Play a little bit of the hit game Vampire Survivors. Try out this mouse with the dongle uh, on the screen. The mouse actually feels pretty good. I've tried doing this before with my current mouse that I use, and I'm not really a fan of it. But the reaction on this mouse is quite nice. Alright, here we have Dinkum. Not a lot of mouse play in this game except for changing the angle you see, but you do have an inventory down here. So I was going to give it a go. You can change through the inventory with the mouse buttons. Not a horrible, you know, it works pretty well. The buttons respond good. They're easy to push. You know, I said they were a little bit stiff earlier, but it's it's not bad, actually. They have a, a design where they all have a little bit of an angle right here. They're all angled off, so you kind of can feel that with your thumb, so it's a bit easier to push. It might be nice if there was, like if you see on the 5 right here, there's a little bit of a bump on it like they do on like a keyboard and stuff. And that'd be nice just to have a little bit of texture on every single mouse or on every single button. Maybe one little bump just so you can kind of feel that ridge. So you you know, it might be a little bit easier to push or just to feel where your thumb is. But it's not bad. I'm I'm kind of here for it. You know, you can scroll for these two, which is, you know, a lot faster and easier for me cuz it's what I'm used to. But, you know, if you're trying to move the screen, changing buttons, running from a vicious alligator, you know, I'm here for it. Let's water these plants up. The mouse feels pretty good. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised. I thought the buttons would be off-putting. But they're not bad on the side. You know, you could definitely get used to key binding some abilities to them to help you out in battle. The mouse is a great size. It fits my hand perfectly. It's actually pretty comfortable. You know, I'm, I kind of crap on, you know, the generic... 3D printed, you know, texture that you get with all of these mice. They're all the same. They all feel the exact same. You know, some people like to spice up their mice by giving you um, the, the button or the stickers, you know, to put on the side to kind of give it its own texture. This one's not bad. You know, it's the same, the same texture and honeycomb appeal. Appearance, you know, it's, it's all the same, but it's not bad. I think they they definitely got it right with the size of the mouse It is you know, it's somewhat lightweight. It's not bad. It's not bad If you're looking for a mouse 
for MOBA or an MMO where you just want a crap ton of buttons on the sign for all your abilities. You really like Steel Series. You might have a little bit, you know, average size hands. I would definitely say this is a good mouse to pick up. You know, it's not for everyone. Not, you know, a lot of people out there aren't using 12 buttons on the side of their mouse. But this isn't a half bad, half bad purchase, I'd say. Crazy cool RGB lights, I'm here for it. I think my overall opinion of this mouse is that it's a good one. You know, it definitely has its target audience. I would say it's designed for that. I would say the size of the mouse is perfect. It fits very well in my hand. Um, a couple gripes is that the dongle for the wireless is a type C. The laptop that I was using does have a type C plugin, but that's also shared with the charger the charger for that laptop. So if I wanted to charge the laptop, I'd have to unplug this, then plug the cord in, then plug it into that bit so that I can continue using the mouse and charge the laptop at the same time. My computer does not have a Type-C plug-in, so I would have to use the cord there. I think that, you know, I think having a normal Type-A USB would have been a better choice, but that's, that's my only gripe with this setup. I think the buttons definitely work. I think it would be nice to have a little bit of texture on the side. I'm here for that. There are no batteries on the mouse, so you do have 150 life, but you are going to have to charge it and plug it into itself at some point to charge it. You got the plug-in right there, plug-in right there, you know, normal mouse setup. I would say overall, a pretty good mouse. Very comfortable, you have the basic 3D printed material. But not bad. I'm here for it. Thank you everyone for watching the Steel Series review. This mouse, pretty good. Everyone, have a good rest of your day. If you can, like and subscribe. It helps us a lot and we appreciate it. Thank you.